but I did have yeah, it was the exa- same deal. You know, you know the typical deal. Call me garbage around the winning KD, team. That's a dude. It's not team deathmatch. It's not about KD. It's about fucking winning the mission. It's going down. Preach, preach, a preach. Sadly, this dude is incredibly wrong because everybody and their mother knows all the way back to when did this first come out? Call of Duty Ghost or is it in, in one of the Modern Warfare's? I can't even remember, but Drop Zone is definitely just a go for all the kills you possibly can kind of game. Yeah, there is an actual objective involved, but there's only like one or two people that actually play that properly during the whole game, and you know is what it is, but your boy gonna be in here, he gonna be slaying it down, I'm gonna be getting them kills, and I'm still gonna be getting that W, cause you know it is what your boy gotta do. Anyway, besides the pissing contest at the beginning of the game, let's just get right on into it and talk about Drop Zone, baby, cause we all know this is the kill feed master race game mode to play, especially for all you snipers, get on out there, because there's gonna be way too many noobs playing this game mode to not try and kill them. I mean, that's the only reason why I'm jumping in here right now, is to hopefully try and get some snipers going so I can knock those out and hopefully never have to touch them again because you know your boy is trash when it comes to those. But more importantly, it is an extremely fun game mode. You can run around the map and get tons of kills or you can play the objective hardcore and get a ton of kills. You can do whatever you want because this game mode is so easy to play. And even if you don't want to get a ton of gun kills, guess what? Just pick up the dirty score streaks that are getting dropped and just lay wood. Even though I will tell you right now, the low key, low key, is that what it is on this game? I can't remember, is low-key terrible. I don't know why anybody would want to play with it, because instantly when that thing pops up, you're already down an entire person in the map to actually play with, so your team's already going to lose, because as you know, uh, this is just like hardpoint. Map positions or the capture zones are constantly changing, so you need as many bodies as possible there to play the objective to win the game itself. But besides that, y'all, get in here and get your sniper kill feeds if that's what you're going for. I know my boy Baytown, once he probably gets back and he's able to start playing again, he's going to be all about this game mode. But also, a pro tip that I want to give y'all right now is that this game mode is perfect for you to go for all your headshots if you're going for that solar or dark sky, whatever the hell they call it in this game, camo. Because so many people are noobs to this, that they're playing this just because they want the high score streaks to try and do well and do good games and blah blah blah. What they don't know is when they're capping these, what are they, drone packages is what they call them in this game. Those are easy open headshots, y'all. All you have to do is flank, pick them up, dunzo, bang, bang, boom. <laughs> Real talk, you will probably never see me try and pick up. I mean, periodically I will get a couple care packages just to grab them really quick so the other team doesn't have them because they become an annoyance. But most of the time you boy out here trying to get them gun kills, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get these camos, boy. Like I say, in lo- the low key or whatever, Odin, it was the Odin and the Ghost. Whatever they call it in this game, it is seriously terrible. So that's one score streak I recommend never using because it's just just ass all around. But still, the Warden is dominant in this. I recommend rocking Blind Eye because there's plenty of times in here where I should have just rocked Blind Eye the whole time running around because it becomes super annoying. But the Warden is dirty in this. The RC-8 is good if you can get that out of one of those care drops. What's the other thing? The, the Talon's just annoying as hell. I hate getting killed by that thing. Somebody needs to buff the shit out of it because how that thing just goes rogue and kills people is one of the most annoying things I've ever ran into. But you get all these crazy drops out of the care packages that come this game just by holding down the objective. So y'all get out there, play it, because you can get so much XP, so many kills, not that many deaths, do good, boosty KD, boosty score per minute, and look good doing it too. I'm not going to talk your ear off and give my class setup or anything, that's always linked down in the description below. But as always, if you didn't know, now you know, jump on out there, get on to some of this drop zone because it's going to be gone before we know it, or maybe they'll let it stay, who knows, depends on how good it does. But get on out there and play it, let me know what you think. And as always, if this video helped you because you didn't know this was live, drop a like on the video. It's always appreciated. And as always, I appreciate every single one of y'all, and I will catch you in the next video. Bleach your out.
Contested. 